Hey, what's going on? It's Randy Miles, and I'm really thrilled to have this man on the phone with me. I have been waiting and waiting. Darwin Hobbs, what is going on? Oh, my goodness. I've been waiting to talk to you and so many other people, too, so I'm grateful to be on this phone. Listen, before we got into the interview, I was like, bruh, you actually <laughs> have something out. I'm so thrilled oh for goodness. you. Thank you. I'm so excited. I, I guess I'm just trying to wrap around my brain what I've been feeling in my in my spirit and in my psyche all these years because mm-hmm. the feeling I have today, I feel great. And I think it's because, well, of course, it's because anybody feels good when people are affirming you yeah. and, and complimenting you and, and, and congratulating you. So that automatically, you know, you feel thankful, you know, but at the same token, it's just, a, a, I think I'm I'm feeling fulfilled today. Like, you know, I'm back to doing what it is. I really, one of the reasons I've been placed on the earth, you know, and so yeah. and, and when you're walking in that and, and operating in your God-given purpose, you know, then it really does kind of, you know, give you a sense of, of, of purpose and fulfillment. And I think that's what I'm experiencing. I feel great. I feel good for you. It's been 10 years for you. You have this new single that's out now. It's called Get Ready. But on top yes. of that, you have Heart Art Worship. What is that? Well, it's my label, uh, Heart Art Worship. And it's really a community that, well, right now, only a few little small people that I've connected with over the years. But what Heart Art means the idea behind it is as a worship leader and as a worship arts person in the local church or even not even just local church but just artists period that are connected to the creative process in 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 the gospel and christian Mm -hmm. music i feel that the best or the most effective of us perfect both the heart and the art of what we do i think so many times randy that there's one or the other people are either really honing their craft and their skill yeah. and they get all and we kill it. i mean we know we can kill but then maybe some presence is missing from it or some really heart of what we do and it's not a, a lot of feeling to it or on the other end even you can have people to say well i got the anointing and i i don't really have to know how to sing well no because <laughs> to me that is nothing more than a distraction yeah amen <laughs> you, know, so, you know so and i just feel that at the practical in a practical sense you need to know what you're doing mm-hmm. well, on the natural side come on we need you to know how to sing or play or whatever it is you yes. purport to be and then also, though, uh, not forsake the heart of it. And I always say, you know, it's great. Performance is great. But I think if you're going to call yourself a, a, a minister of the gospel, you need presence connected with that performance. So that's where heart art comes from. And um, so that's the label. And I'm releasing all my music under that. But also it's partnered, thank God, with uh, the folks at Fairtrade and Ty Scott. So I'm excited about that partnership, too. That is fantastic. Well, tell me about the new single, Get Ready. Excited about that. Get Ready is a song that actually my spiritual uh, mentor and father, John Stevenson, he wrote that song um, a couple years back. But then I came along and and helped co-write it and just added some parts to it. But it's really just an ant, honestly, and it just was timely without meaning to be timely. Mm-hmm. I was going to record a full album in the spring and canceled it because of COVID. Mm-hmm. And then I thought, well, I got to release a single until I record the album you know, in spring of 2021. So I picked that song because I felt that the message in the song would be so timely for all that we're living through nowadays. Mm-hmm. Um, because the song pretty much just is an anthem and it's a proclamation that we're expecting God to move. We're anticipating him to move uh, in miracles and in the deliverance and healing. And anybody that's alive in today's climate you know we need God to move uh, in a way that he has not, perhaps, we haven't seen him here to to date move, even though he is moving. Mm-hmm. And I don't believe there's anything new under the sun, because I think God's our future is God's past. But at the same time, for our sense of, of, of trusting and believing, this song is great, because it just says, again, I'm, 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 expecting a move of God. I'm expecting a miracle, and I, I'm releasing my faith, you know, because it's one thing, Randy, to say, we have faith, but it's another thing to release that faith 
Uh, and so uh, it's just a, it's a, it's a happy song. It's a song. I tell people you're going to groove and worship <laughs> because it definitely will make you move. It is an up-tempo fun song. I'm excited about the producer that I work with, Jeremy J.J. Haynes. I mean, not Haynes, Jeremy J.J. James. And Jeremy Haynes is a great drummer, but Jeremy, Hain- Jeremy James is the producer of this. Wow. And it's a young gentleman out of North Carolina who's kind of up and coming. So I'm excited to even partner with the people in his generation and, 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 and me, and we bring it together, and here we are. On the phone with Darwin Hobbs as his brand new song is called Get Ready. And Darwin, you're preparing this new album as well. Oh my goodness, yes. <laughs> uh, in the spring, it's going to be called Set List. And I call it Set List because as a worship leader, one of my most challenging moments of the week, every week, is compiling a set list of songs that I can do at church when I'm leading people in worship and corporate worship. Mm -hmm. And so I've been complaining. I'm one that's known to complain about some of the music that's currently out. I think it's great, but some of it in a sense of being user friendly as far as corporate worship, it's too wordy. And sometimes it's just not accessible. And so I thought, well, let me stop complaining and let me record and be the answer to the problem I'm complaining about. <laughs> so I'm going to record 10 to 12 songs that are, they just straight up praise and worship, straight up church songs that are or songs that work in a corporate sense. Yes. That people don't have to spend too much time reading the screen. They can actually engage with these songs. Okay. It doesn't take you but one time listening and then you can go ahead and engage in your worship instead of just being so attentive on the big screen, trying to see what the next word is. Right. Um, so they're, they're, they're just simple songs. And I think that a lot of times, I think songwriters need to be mindful of that. You didn't ask me to say this, but I, I think songwriters need to be mindful of, uh, of lyric content because sometimes you can't say everything in the course of one song. <laughs> Very true. Very <laughs> so, true. You know, so, I mean, it's just, you know, so it's kind of one of those less is more. Well, in my instance, to me, less is more. It's it, I can use it more because, I mean, here I am, I got 10,000, 5,000 people that I'm leading, you know, I lead worship there in New York at A.R. Bernard's church. It's a huge church. And I got all this sea of people, you know, when we're not on restriction from COVID, but all this sea of people that I'm leading. And I don't have time for most of them to not be engaged because they're so busy. Like, well, Lord have mercy. Here comes another set of words. Well, here comes (laughs) another. So, so set list will be a good 10 songs that people like me that worship. It's a tool that I'm giving to worship leaders. And I'm saying here, use these because they're going to work. I absolutely love that. And during your time while you were out, you were doing some really special things like, you know, having Bethany. I call her your (laughs) mini me. (laughs) Yes, 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 yes. Um, Now, I'm going to tell you, Tracy and I, well, now we're, we're coming on 30 years married, but but but. At 20 years married, we still had no kids. We received the miracle of Bethany. Tracy got pregnant at 45. And so what back then, <clears throat> I really, but right before before that, so about four years before, uh, I had I had to record my last album, Champion, mm-hmm. which, thank God, that was but the only stellar award I've ever won but I got from that album mm-hmm. for Praise and Worship Album of the Year. But after that, I kind of took a break. And then when we had Bethany, of course, I had to wrap my brain around becoming a dad <laughs> and, um, and, and, and trying to, uh, you know, be the best dad I could be at that age, at this age. And so, and also... I really honestly, Randy, I needed to know that this is what I was still called to do. Mm-hmm. And, and of course, God confirmed that, which is why we're talking today about this music. But I, I just, music has made a shift, especially even in gospel, in, in a sense. Yeah. And some of it, the, the expression, um, it's it's kind of hard to, um, for me, it was hard to say, hey, this I, this is the, the style that I feel led to and, and really equipped to record, I'm not sure that a lot of that's being released nowadays because so much of what we hear nowadays is in a certain style and a certain lane, and I don't really do that. Yeah. And so the thing that's been refreshing and, and rewarding for me today is for a lot of people to say to me, Darwin, thanks for being true to who you are creatively, mm-hmm. but really thank you for that urban gospel sound again. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And Amen. I don't apologize for that because, and, and nothing against some of the other expression, but this, th- this is 
this is what I do, and this is this is what, if I'm gonna hit a home run, it's because I'm singing contemporary gospel music, and that's what I released with Get Ready. Amen, amen. Well, it is such a pleasure to talk to you. God bless you, you and too. your beautiful family. And Thank how you. do we find you? Uh, well, on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook at Darwin Hobbs. Um, on, on a YouTube channel I got now, which is Darwin Hobbs as well, which I got a lyric video up today that they can uh, find um, on YouTube. And then, uh, of course, I got a website, Darwin Hobbs Music. And I'll just tell people now. I'm a whole man, I'm a whole husband, daddy, artist, and worship leader. So all of that comprised is what my timeline on my social media is comprised of. Absolutely. So I don't want people thinking, hey, we're going to go and just hear Darwin speaking in tongues. No, <laughs> I do all of that. But 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 I also like to engage in current events, and I like to laugh. Yes, I think I love to I love to talk about my daughter and my wife, and I love to talk about music and stuff. But I just am a full person, and that's what my social media represents. So come on and have fun if you want to, uh, if you can handle the whole <laughs> of me, because that's what I do on my social media. <laughs> so come on and follow me, but just be prepared that it's all of me, that, that not, not nothing's missing. Absolutely, I appreciate that about you. I'm telling you that's why i follow you on social media Thank because you. we get all of darwin we don't get right. you know just one dimensional use is everything yeah and i think that's how we should be yeah Thank you so much for your time. Darwin Hobbs, everybody, on the Detroit Praise Network. God bless you, my brother. Bless you, too. I love you. 